Hello! In this video, we will be discussing conditional statements in formal logic. We'll get to the beach trip in a minute. In formal logic, conditional statements are statements containing the conditional operator. They are read as if-then statements. So, if P, then Q. P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. Let's talk a bit more about these using an example. Let's say that if the weather is sunny, then we will go to the beach. Let's put that promise into symbols. In a more formal logic problem, we would be using P's, Q's, things like that. But here we're going to use pictures. If the weather is sunny, then we will go to the beach. Keep that promise in mind for the rest of the video. So, now that you have my promise, the big question is, did I keep it or not? We have to look at what actually happened. On the day of the trip, the weather is bright and sunny. So the hypothesis, it is sunny, is true. We go to the beach. So the value of the conclusion, we go to the beach, is also true. So did I keep my promise? Yes, I did. It was sunny, we went to the beach. Let's keep going and look at another set of possibilities. On the day of the scheduled trip, it is sunny, so the hypothesis is still true. However, instead of going to the beach, we go to a football game. The conclusion is false. So now I ask you, did I break my promise? Yes, I did. I said, if it is sunny, then we will go to the beach. It was sunny, but we didn't go to the beach, so I broke my promise. Now what happens if it's not sunny? The day of the trip, it's raining outside. The truth value for the hypothesis, the if it is sunny, is false. What does that mean about my promise? Well, what happens if in spite of the weather, we decide to go to the beach anyway? I only said we would go to the beach if the weather was sunny. I didn't say anything about what we would do if the weather was wet. So, the question is, did I break my promise? I kept my promise. I promised you that if the weather was sunny, we would go to the beach. The weather wasn't sunny, but we still went to the beach. So what does it mean if the weather isn't sunny and we didn't go to the beach? Would I have broken my promise then? Let's look at that as an example. The weather isn't sunny, so the truth value for the hypothesis is false. It isn't sunny, and we didn't go to the beach. We went to a football game instead. So I promised you, if the weather is sunny, then we will go to the beach. It wasn't sunny, and we didn't go to the beach. Did I keep my promise to you? Yes, I did. I only promised you that if the weather was sunny, then we would go to the beach. I didn't make any promise about what would happen if the weather was not sunny. What we have just looked at can be examined as a truth table. We just looked at all possible values for both the hypothesis and the conclusion. This truth table conveys the same information as we just went over. The only difference is it uses true and false values to represent it is sunny, it is not sunny, we went to the beach, we did not go to the beach, I kept my promise, I did not keep my promise. So let's conclude by using what we just learned to fill in a truth table using P's and Q's instead of sunshines and beach buckets. We start with our first column, P, our hypothesis. Before that was, it is sunny. We move on to our conclusion, Q. Before it was, we will go to the beach. Now we add our conditional statement, our promise. If P, then Q. This replaces, if it is sunny, then we will go to the beach. But it functions the same way. Now we fill in the truth table so we can look at all possible combinations of values for both P and Q. Remember that we need to account for all possible pairs. So there needs to be a row where P and Q are both true, P is true and Q is false, P 
P is false and Q is true, and a row where P and Q are both false. That way we can be certain that we have all possibilities. You can see in this table, just like in our example before, we have all possible combinations of P and Q. Now we can begin to fill in the column if P then Q. Let's look at the first one. If P is true and Q is true, then if P then Q is also true. This is the same as in our beach trip example. Now if P is true and Q is false, then the promise is broken, the conditional statement is false, just like in our example earlier. Now we look at what happens if P is false and Q is true. The conditional statement is true. This is just like when it was rainy in our example with the beach trip. Lastly, we look at what happens if P and Q are both false. Just like in our example earlier, if both P and Q are false, the conditional statement is true. You can use this line of thinking to solve any conditional statement problem. I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you!